Keith Nicholas back. Another, 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 another really quick one. Now, as you can see from the title, Salty YouTubers or Salty Tubers. It's quite a lot around, isn't they? When you think about it. Now, generally, most Linux tubers are quite nice. Yeah, most of them are nice. So, we're not going to actually include any Linux tubers or tech tubers in this. But you'll know the sort of people I'm talking about when we get going, okay? When I say salty, I mean somebody that when they've started and they've got a rush of subscriptions, start making money, and then forget where their original subscribers came from, okay? And if you make a comment and you think they just brush you aside or won't take your advice, and then start crying when things go wrong. And what do you do? Well, I don't do anything. I just leave them alone. If you do happen to comment on a salty YouTuber's site, you'll either get uh, removed, banned, or oh, there's quite a few, others. or they just put a description or an answer, totally dismissing what you've said and being quite rude. And that's when you know they've gone too high too quickly. Now, what goes up must come down. So, guys, all for all you salty guys out there who probably won't be watching this because this is really a, a Linux and tech channel. You can go past this, but you have to cut and make down to go the other way, don't you? Okay. So it's always nice to be nice to people wherever they are, even if you don't agree with what they're saying or care for that matter. So I'm not going to show you any salty YouTubers here. I'm going to show you some nice YouTubers, but not Linux related. Okay. These are nice YouTubers. Okay. The first one, James and Kate, they review electric cars and electric I won't call them motorbikes, but they electric motorbikes. They're very nice. They'll respond to your when you put a comment, even on Twitter. They'll respond to you. Very, very pleasant to deal with. They haven't got fourteen point six thousand subscribers. They're not really worried about that because they get the chance to drive all these cars. Yeah, fantastic. Not salty. Okay. Next, hmm. You're saying fully charged, but that's a really weird channel. I've been following fully charged since they started. Okay. That's a really long time ago. And I've got one of my cars, actually, watching one of their videos. This is a really, really long time ago. And in general, it's a nice channel to follow. It's quite pleasant. You won't always get somebody reply to you if you make a comment because there's so many comments. But you can do a direct message on Twitter if you want to, and you'll get a reply that way. It's a nice channel, OK? You know, nobody's getting upset about anything. Another nice one. Now, this is for Audio Tech, Techmo. Now, the guy's got a, a few uh, health issues, but he does make really, really good videos on old tech mainly, or mini disc, cassettes, reel to reel, old amps, turntables, stuff like that. And it's really, really nice to watch, okay? Also, he normally answers all the questions that you put in the comments, okay? Another, another nice one. Finally, now this guy's really new. He's from Kent, I think near the Isle of Sheppey. I can't quite remember. Or more, more Maidstone way. He only started last year just rebuilding cars. Now, he's got his own car yard, but he just took off like nobody's business. He never slags anybody off. Okay, If you put a comment and give him a, a bit of advice, it will say thank you. Yeah, a really, really nice guy. Now, on the other hand, with our salty tubers, we don't get this, do you? We don't get that. So what makes these salty tubers so salty? Is it just self-worth? Something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, really difficult to say, isn't it? But yeah, salty YouTubers. Don't like them. Mm. Go away. Oh, by the way, Tinder Worms tomorrow. Sneaky links out. By the way.